This is Every Problem of Stuart Calculus 8th Edition, Chapter 1, Section 1, Problem 27. For the next four problems, it says evaluate the difference quotient for the given function. And now, this is important, it does say simplify your answer. So we'll have to take note of that. For problem 27, we have f of x equals 4 plus 3x minus x squared. And they want us to find the difference quotient with f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 all over h. Um, okay, well, there's a couple of things that we should do first. First, let's rearrange f of x in a more coherent manner, just so it's a little bit easier to work with. So let's rearrange it. I, I always like having the highest order polynomials first. So let's have negative x squared plus 3x plus 4. Okay, good. Now here, this uh, difference quotient kind of a weird word, but what that means is essentially if we were to break this up, we would have f of 3 plus h over h minus f of 3 over h. And so because they have common because they have common bases, right, then you can simplify it and have f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 all over h. So therefore, it is a difference, and a quotient, because it's all over h. Hence the name uh, difference quotient. Okay, so let me just erase that really quick, and we'll go ahead and get started. So, as I had mentioned in another video, uh, a function is a rule, right? So, when we have f of 3 plus h, that doesn't mean f times 3 plus h, right? It means f, our function, our rule, with the given input value 3 plus h in any place you see an x. So if it's f of x, and they want us to find f of 3 plus h, then that means anywhere we see an x, we should input 3 plus h. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take this here. And we will do negative 3 plus h squared plus 3 times 3 plus h uh, plus 4. Okay. Minus, now we have f of 3, so minus new brackets negative 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus 4. Now, I've said it before, and I'll probably say it over and over again for quite a while. Uh, parentheses are going to be your best friend here because they'll help you from making all sorts of algebraic mistakes like here. So let's keep going. Uh, let's expand this a little bit. So now we have, oh, and this is all over h. Okay, now we expand this a little bit, and we have negative 9 plus 6h plus h squared, plus, we'll distribute the 3, right, 9 plus 3h plus 4. Minus a negative 9, because this negative is on the outside of our square function, right? So negative 9 plus 9 plus 4 all over h. Now let's see if there's any kind of cleaning up we can do right now. Here I see a negative 9 and a positive 9. So 
that's good. And here I see a nine and I see a four. So that will become 13 in our next line. So let's just do that a little bit at a time. That way it's not overwhelming. So now we have negative nine plus six H plus H squared plus 13 plus 3h, and this is minus 4, all over h. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this negative sign, and I'd also like to combine this positive 13 and this negative 4 to give us 9. So now we have negative 9 minus 6h minus h squared plus 9 plus 3h all over h. We'll see our 9s cancel out and our negative 6h and positive 3h will combine to give us a negative 3h, okay? So now we have negative 3h minus h squared all over h. We can take out 1h, right? Well, I'll show you why first. So what we can do is we can factor out an h. So let's, let's see what that looks like. We'll have an h times negative 3 minus h all over h. Now we can cancel it out. That gives us negative 3 minus h, and that's our answer. It's quite a lot of work, but it's very satisfying when it all kind of condenses down into something nice. So that's uh, everything for problem 27.